Okay, for this one here, we're just gonna have a look at moving past uh, mid-rope protection. And then once we've gone past the mid-rope protection, we'll then uh, have a look at getting over or getting past a 90 degree edge or uh, edge obstructions. So, climbing on up, uh, up at the mid-rope protectors here. Okay, mid-rope protectors might be in place for a variety of reasons. Generally speaking, it'll just be if uh, there's something that could be a bit of a hazard that we just want to give the ropes a bit of protection from brushing up against. Um, so that's what we've pretty much got them here for. They're all fairly simple. Yeah, you know, in concept, uh, Velcro closure. So to move past it, all I'm really needing to do, once I've climbed up to them, is peel them open. Keep on climbing up. And then as soon as I'm above it a little bit, as soon as I'm able to, I'm just gonna make sure that I get them closed up again. So there we go, nice and easy for that one. Next little thing that we've got here, there's another knot that happens to be in the middle of the rope. That's pretty easy to bypass. We've made sure that we've used that as our backup line. So all I've got to do here is throw a second backup device on above the knot, make sure that's up as high as it goes. And then remove the original backup. And I can pretty much keep on climbing from there. On the working line, there's nothing impeding my path. And so there's nothing that I really need to change uh, on the working line at all. Okay, just continuing on. Uh, just coming up to the edge that we're going to, you know, have to get past. So this is what we call a 90 degree edge, uh, you know, which also features, you know, some edge protection. Okay, so I'm still climbing up. We're just gonna get ourselves in, you know, a bit closer. As I'm able to, I can get my backup device, pop that up and over the top there and just get that, you know, as high as possible. I just want to make sure that it's not the, any metal components or any metal uh, hardware is not going to end up getting caught or loaded over the edge itself. Okay, uh, just a little bit closer there. Uh, can't really go much higher than this just yet, but what I can do, take the hand jammer off the working line Reattach that one over the top. And that frees up a little bit of space in there. And I can just get my crawl up just a little bit higher from there. Okay. Now, it is a tooth device or a tooth cam device, so I don't want to have the possibility of losing my balance and falling back onto one of those. So we're just going to change over to the descender quickly. It's a bit bunched up and awkward. We'll just feed that through, get that up nice and close to the chest ascender there. Okay, I'm gonna push my hand jammer a little bit farther up. Uh, my foot loop's sitting up a bit higher, which means I can stand up a little bit higher now. And all I really need to do now, stand up my foot loop, just get that crawl off the rope. Or chest ascender, I should say. And then I can just, uh, you know, climb straight over the top there. As soon as I am uh, up the top here, we do happen to have another knot in the way, so all I need to do here, if I needed to move further away, would be just to swap back up devices just to get past that, okay? And then once I'd done that, I could remove everything else, move on to where I needed to, if I was up here to do a particular job or anything like that. Again, okay, so this time we get ready to come back down over a 90 degree edge here, okay? So I finished whatever task I had up there, back over towards the edge, getting ready. Uh, still on my, uh, you know, ASAP or my, um, you know, backup device up there. Uh, just before I come over the edge, I just need to make sure I've got two points of attachment on, uh, on the ropes here. So just to get past that knot in the backup line, let's just put the duck on. Okay, so we'll leave that one there. For the moment, I'm just going to leave my original backup device on because what I actually want to do is get the working line 
into my descender. Now, all I'm doing here is just grabbing hold of the rope just below the edge, put a bit of tension on that just to see, make sure I'm accounting for the stretch, and then keep hold of that spot on the rope. And then that is where it gets laid or threaded into my descender. So that's there, and, uh, double check that's locked once again. Now that I've got two points of attachment on, now's the, the part where I can take the ASAP off. So, back of device on, descender on, two independent attachments. Just gonna make use of this ladder here to get myself back over the edge. And essentially all I'm doing is coming towards the edge, turn around sideways, I can grab hold of the uh, backup line up there, palm down on the deck if I need to for balance. And basically I'm just turning around, lining myself up, sitting down nice and easy. And as I've done so, I'm just ensuring that I make sure that both of the ropes are within the confines of the edge protection up here. That'll come out there. Now that I'm sitting down in place, let's get that duck just down over the edge. Just make sure nothing's going to cross load, of course. Okay. And final double check. Not caught in the ladder. Both ropes are back within the edge protection there. And then I can pretty much start making my way back down to the ground from this point. That's about it.